All right, after my video on vitamin D got over 3 million views, I thought it was time to answer some questions. I switched over to this. Yes, I paid retail for it, and now I'm also selling it on my channel because it works, and I have blood work to prove that it works. There's been hundreds of comments where people say, high doses of vitamin D will cause kidney failure, it's bad for your liver, it's going to do all this horrible stuff, and that is simply not the case. Not only did I write a whole chapter on the endocrine system and vitamin D consumption in the Unchained Life Manual, but I referenced half a dozen different studies, and let me go ahead and do a screen share for you. All of these studies are available on PubMed. You have vitamin D and probiotic co-supplementation having a positive impact on mental health, hormonal and inflammatory markers and reducing oxidative stress. Vitamin D supplementation increases endogenous testosterone production in men. Vitamin D supplementation in women with polycystic ovary syndrome. Vitamin D mediating the relationship between vitamin D and prostate. I can't say that word. Progression in men. Uh, older men typically have a major issue with the prostate. Having optimal vitamin D levels improves that. Obviously, I'm not giving medical advice. This is only personal opinion and anecdotal evidence based on my own labs. Optimal vitamin D having a positive impact on depression in middle age and elderly men. Uh, vitamin D having a positive impact on oxidative stress, cortisol, and testosterone in professional soccer players. Reviewing the evidence of vitamin D supplementation and the management of testosterone status and its effect on male reproductive system. So, and by the way, people that said I was taking too much vitamin D, I was taking 40,000 international units, okay? That would be four of those a day for 30 days and had labs done. Everything is green, people. There's not, not a problem with anything. Hematocrit is normal, white blood cells, red blood cells, neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils. There's no toxicity consuming, in my opinion, between uh, 10,000 and 40,000 international units daily. It's, it's not that complicated. It's not bad for you. There's plenty of evidence out there. Do your research. This stuff works. It will change your life and make you feel better. Have a great day.